You turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired eyes. And everything we said we'd be, we just traded for a suit coat and a tie. What is up guys, Levi Peterson here, back at it with another video. I know this is a late video, but I've been super busy and I actually fell down the stairs the other day at my work and damaged myself up pretty good. I got seven stitches in my foot and everything. Um, I dropped a tank and we're not going to go into all that. Um, but what I have today is I have two normal average sailfin mollies. Yes, they are massive. Um, and what I'm going to do is a lot of people don't know this. But mollies are more of a brackish fish to marine fish. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and show you these mollies. They are going in my brackish tank with my freshwater eel. And no, the eel's not going to eat them right now. These things are massive. Um, eventually, I might have to try to figure out something else for them. Because these guys do get up to like 8 inches in the wild. Um, mollies actually thrive in estuaries where freshwater and saltwater meet. Um, like a river flowing out of a continent or whatever right into the ocean right in there where the salt and fresh water mix is called an estuary Usually, it's like a mangrove habitat, which is what my tank is right now Actually, I got a glass fish two bumblebee gobies at the moment Which I say at the moment because I'm surprised the eel hasn't ate them yet Snowflake moray eel and now two sailfin mollies. I got a uh, Dalmatian and then just a solid uh, Sun molly so we're going to go ahead and get these guys acclimated to the tank. They've been sitting in there for maybe 20 minutes. So we're going to put them in a little cup or container. And we're going to put a little bit of brackish and add a little bit of salt. So they get used to the salinity. And I'll show you how that's done right now. Alrighty guys. So I have here my cajon. Which I'm not using for water or anything. And a little, just a simple little dish. You could probably find one of these in the kitchen. This one's Prairie Farms Natural Sherbert. It's all cleaned out and everything. And so here are the two mollies. I'll give you a close up. I'm just trying to get this water off so I don't drip it all over the floor here. Look at these guys. These guys are beautiful. Now these guys have been in there acclimated for a little bit. I mean, the fish are gonna be fine. So I wanna make sure they're all healthy and all good to go. So what I am going to do is simply dump them in here very carefully. You want to dump them in very soft. You don't want to just, obviously, you don't want to just throw them in there. And slowly, there they go. Get them in there. Let them sit for a couple seconds. These things are huge. They're the biggest ones I've ever had. I've had some smaller ones in the past. Now what I will do is I'm going to ha have a little tiny cup and slowly pour a little bit of the brackish water into there. Um, little tiny little thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that right now Now don't panic and think I'm acclimating these guys too fast because in the wild in the estuaries where they actually live They rapidly go from salt water to fresh water to right back out into the coast They are insane creatures. They can tolerate salinity changes like crazy So just dumping a little bit of this cup in there is honestly not gonna affect them at all in the wild They are so used to just Swimming back and forth in between freshwater rivers and going right back into the ocean and they are trying to jump out right now So I kind of gotta be careful. Oh, okay So I'm gonna go ahead and put another uh, Little scoop in there in about a minute and they are trying to jump. I will need to grab the cover here So I covered them up um, I'm gonna let them sit for maybe a minute and a half and we're gonna go ahead and dump this other little cup in and Let them sit maybe for another minute and a half and then we will dump them into the brackish tank And like I said, don't panic because these were in fresh water at our store and now they're going to the brackish Like I said in the wild they go rapidly from fresh water to brackish to marine These guys can handle salinity changes like crazy in fact at our store what we do is if we have a molly that comes in in the freshwater department that's not looking too good we'll just dump it right in the salt water system and it thrives so don't panic or anything because i know what i'm doing and we are going to get these guys the best of care so i will be back in probably about a few minutes we're going to let it sit for just a little longer to make sure 
These guys are totally prepared, so I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit. guys I'm back it's been about probably an hour um, since I had these guys put in the tank they are doing very well they are thriving already I put a couple flakes in there or not flakes blood worms to feed to my other fish and they are already started eating on them so that's good signs um, I will flip the camera around and we will get you guys some close-ups pardon the glass right now there's a little bit of salt on the outside of the glass um, this is a Dalmatian sailfin molly. These guys are beautiful fish. Um, the other guy is still sitting up here. He just, that's, I don't know, he's been sitting there since I put him in. He's, he ate and everything. He was doing really well. He was out and swimming. Um, maybe the, he's camera shy. Um, so yeah, these guys are actually pretty decent sized already. They're about three inches in length each and every one of them. Now, if we go down below, I have freshwater mora eel or snowflake mora eel in this tank um i've had this tank set up for probably about a month and a half now um i was originally planning on getting some freshwater pipe fish for this tank um but i decided to go with something a little different um, not many people have freshwater mora eels they are starting to become more common now um in the future i eventually am looking forward to trying to get a freshwater frogfish they're not true freshwater they're actually brackish well, I will try to eventually, if we ever see one anywhere, I will try to pull that. And we're going to try to get that guy in this tank because I am super hyped and I've wanted one for a long time. I love these mollies. They get that turquoise color and they are absolutely beautiful. When this one fans out and everything, it's turquoise makes it look gorgeous. So that's really going to wrap it up for this tank. Um, I will give you a little bit of a sneak peek on what my next video is going to be on, which is that tank right there. Um, I have a new addition in there, which was the killifish. As you can see, the glass knife is going crazy right now. I did get a new light for it, so I'm going to eventually... This thing is going to be heavily planted. It already is pretty much. It's probably about medium, mediumly planted. Um, it needs a little more plants and drift one on that side. And this thing is going to be a full-on biotope with some harlequin reservoir as a glass knife fish. And there is a couple blind cave tetras, which don't really go with the biotope um, and where everything's from. The blind cave touchers are actually from Mexico. Um, but this is going to be a whole separate video. And currently right now, the saltwater tank is under maintenance. Um, there's a couple of crabs in there somewhere. I, they must have came in on the live rock. In fact, there's actually a little tiny hermit crab sneaking along right there. Um, we do have a power head going in there to keep everything alive. And I've been feeding uh, this tank. So this should be up in a couple weeks and back up and running. Um, other than that, that's really going to wrap it up for this video. Well, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. If you have any questions on the brackish tank or the mollies or just about anything fish-wise or aquarium-related, comment below, and I will help you out as much as I can. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to be the fish and to get outdoors. We'll see you next time.